Uh, I'm December Ndovu. Uh, I am a member of KSFIA. Uh, KSFIA we are, it's an organization that uh, uh, is against the further expansion of this monoculture plantation like this uh, industrial timber plantation. Yeah, those industrial timber plantation and this other monoculture uh, plantation. No, the, 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 the problem with this um, industrial uh, timber plantation is that they use a lot of water and they are, they are, they are alien. They are, not, they are not South African, so they, uh, they, they are not good for the environment. Hence, they use this kind of uh, water for the uh, quick growing. Uh, process that they uh, undergo. Now, now recently we have uh, we have been doing a study, a case study on on the impact of uh, uh, ITPs on rural communities. What I have discovered there it was amazing because I only thought of the issues affecting uh, related to water, but now. Uh, on my field, when I visited uh, those people, uh, speaking to them, I uncovered a lot of things. Like for instance, there's those people where they have been forcefully removed when they uh, they brought those plantations, uh, is that they were occupying quite a, a, a big place where they could uh, farm enough, where they could plow, where they could have quite a number of things that they can even have good sense of uh, secrecy where they could uh, have good time of medita uh, meditating or whatever rituals that they would do. But now the problems that uh, 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 followed then is that they were removed from those uh, 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 places and then they were uh, taken to uh, where, where there are a lot of people. So now the problem is, what I have discovered is that a lot of these families, when they were removed from those uh, 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 places that they uh, eventually plant, those countries is that they had a lot of cattle, they had a lot of uh, cows, they had a lot of goats, they had a lot of poultry. But now because of the pressure that was exerted on them, uh, the time limit given to uh, to vacate that place, they most of them they lost their, uh, their livestock. So to me that is it's not even bad, it's, it's, it's criminal. Because they never got, they never got back their belongings, and now they, they are, where they are staying now in those locations, townships, and, and those uh, in, uh, congested, densely populated, uh, populated uh, areas. Then now they don't have more of that free time that they had that to uh, uh, um, uh, to practice their rituals as it should. Because one other thing that I learned is that we blacks, uh, 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 beside. Uh, being um, people that uh, are attached to our ancestors, we are also very much attached to the place where we live because eventually this is where we uh, create places where we perform uh, rituals, different rituals on different types of trees, on different uh, uh, seasons. So that is not uh, 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 possible, no, in the locations, where in the townships, where people have been forcefully uh, uh, lo uh, relocated. These people, when, when they were removed from those uh, places where they've uh, planted those uh, 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 gum trees and eucalyptus and whatsoever, is that they are not benefiting out of the same project. Instead, there are people that are benefiting out of the same project, but not from that uh, uh, class that was removed there. It's the people, it's the elite uh, 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 class. The people from the government, big politicians, big pol uh, 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 business uh, people. So I feel one way or the other, um, these people should be, uh, they should be reparated. They should be paid for the damage that has been uh, uh, done to them. Because it's not only their places that has been, uh, uh, ancestral land that has been taken away from them. It, even their humanity in relation to their black customs and traditions is that um, you, uh, by not practicing those things adequately, you lose your morals, hence this moral decay that you see all of. So I feel as an activist that one way or the other, we as civil, uh, 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 civil society organizations, we should one way or the other uh, 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 litigate the government to 
for those multinationals to pay for the, for, uh, uh, for the damage that they cause. Even now, you can see that the high rate of crime, the, the high rate of uh, uh, people behaving like they're not human, that is in our African uh, culture, most of these things that are happening now, it's taboo. It's because of they've lost that kind of guidance that they used to get during those rituals, those ceremonies, during those times, those seasonal practices that they had to. It also helped to build the kind of people. Hence, you, 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 you might know about David Livingstone that he had a very good reception when he came to Africa for the first time. That is how Africans are. But today, people are stealing, are hijacking, are doing all these things. That is un-African because of that. People have been detached from their, from their, uh, from their humanity. What I have done, I have spoken to quite a number of Sangomas that are uh, uh, using uh, traditional herbs for healing purposes. They are facing a serious problem because most of these um, uh, 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 plants that they used to get from where it's wet, where it's damp, it's no more there. Because what they did uh, in, in, in my area, in Pushback Ridge, the Mariscop, the upper, the upper rainfall, the most fertile land up there, it's where they planted all this. And that's where our rivers emanate from. So now, it is, as a result, it has, re it has reduced big time uh, the stream flow. 300 kilometers down the line, there is virtually no water. So that means most of the plants that they, that they use to, uh, to get from where it's, from the, uh, where it's damp, it's, it's not available anymore. Hence, the profession of uh, Sangoma is also fading bit by bit because uh, Sangomas are regarded like they're not no more able of uh, 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 healing people with these medicinal plants. Whereas the truth is they don't have because of they have Instinct. I think uh, uh, the amount of uh, plantation that we have in, uh, in South Africa, it exceeds far uh, the, 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 the level of need that we, uh, we need for our wood, our survival and our ordinary home chores. But now the problem is it's used mainly for export to other uh, countries, China, wherever, Japan, all over the world. So it's not uh, benefiting even our, uh, that, uh, 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 our people because it's only it's even few people that are working in those industries. Uh, 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 if, I could, if I could have powers to can uh, uh, influence or uh, whatever change that can imp be implemented, what I would do, firstly, I would uh, strategically in, uh, uh, clear those uh, places where it, uh, it would allow back the stream flow uh, to go downstream and to strategically reintroduce the indigenous uh, trees so that the ecosystem could uh, um, start to, uh, to roll again because the, naturally the forest can sustain itself. Uh, the habitat is it's friendly, it's, it can go through all this season without major problems. In my area, in Bushpark Ridge, um, I'm happy to say there are quite a number of people that are aware now of the problem because of the workshops that we have done and the visits that we have paid to the farmers because there are a lot of women farmers that they used to farm successfully before 20, 30 years back, before this problem of water impacted on them. So what we have done we have also distributed uh, uh, information through uh, leaflets, flyers, and invited community, ordinary community people to, uh, to the meetings.